Hi guys, topic of this video is solar power solution for my batteryless temperature sensor that I'm building. It will be wireless, it will send temperature data from outside to indoors to some kind of receiver. I don't know if I'm connecting it to my server or if I'm just going to use some kind of display connected to an Arduino or something like that. But that's not the topic of this video. The topic is the solar power solution that I've already made. The main power source of this project is this solar panel. On bright sunny day it outputs around 6 volts. And the maximum current I think it was 100 or 150 milliamps. The exact maximum current isn't important for me as long as this solar panel is big enough to charge the main energy bank. After the solar panel I have a shotkey diode which is blocking the current from going to the solar panel. Then I have two supercapacitors, they are 2.7 volts and 10 farads each. I have connected them in series, so they are 5.4 volts and 5 farads. And if you do the math, the 6 volts coming from the solar panel is too much for these. So that's why I have over voltage protectors for the supercapacitors. I used something that I already had and that is TL431. When connected this way, it acts as a 2.5 volt Gener diode. It will conduct when the voltage over it is over 2.5 volt, thus limiting the output voltage of this whole circuit to 5 volts, which is perfect for my needs. It can be easily regulated to 3.3 volts if needed, or used as is if the circuit can handle 5 volts. I was able to make this circuit this simple because the solar panel has some internal resistance. If it was a low impedance voltage source, these TL431s would probably burn out. But because the solar panel is quite small and has some internal resistance, I was able to use these TL431s just fine. The current over them isn't too high for them. It would be awesome if you could hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.